So now we are going to see the first chapter of physics that is light reflection and refraction. So in the first part of the chapter we are going to study about reflection. Okay. So what is reflection? Already in lower class that is in class 8 you have read about reflection. So you, I, I hope you remember reflection is bouncing back of light from a plain polished surface. Suppose this is a surface and the surface is plain and polished, okay, which is shown by this way. It shows that the surface is plain and polished. When a light falls on this surface, okay, so when a light is falling on the surface, so what will happen? From this point, all of the light which is falling on the surface will be getting bounced back. It will be getting completely bounced back okay so this bouncing back of light from the plane surface is known as reflection okay and this light let's name this ray of rays okay this is p this is o and this is uh, let's call it as q okay so this p o light is known as p o light is known as incident ray O is the normal or center then PQ or OQ is known OQ is known as reflected ray this ON is the incident ray which is falling on the mirror and this OQ is the re reflected ray which is bouncing back after getting reflected okay and then from the center from where the reflection is taking place we will draw a straight line using our scale and this straight line is known as normal this point is known as normal okay so we have two laws of reflections there are two laws of reflection first law of reflection states that and this straight line is known as normal this point is known as after we are going to study about reflection this oq is now we are going to see two laws of reflection first law of reflection states that angle of incidence is equivalent to angle of reflection okay so now let's see what is angle of incidence and what is angle of reflection now you can see here in the picture that this incident ray yeah let's see what is angle of incidence so this is the incident ray so incident ray is making some angle with the normal this is our normal n so this incident ray po is making some angle with the normal so this angle which is being formed by incident ray and normal is known as angle of incidence and the angle which is formed by reflected ray and normal is known as angle of refraction. So always remember in the case of reflection, the angle of incidence and angle of reflection will be equal. Okay. If this angle of incidence is 30 degree, then angle of reflection will also be 30 degree. So in this manner, this is the first law of reflection. Now moving on to the next law of reflection that is incident ray, reflected ray and the normal. Okay. First incident ray, reflected ray and this normal they all are lying in the same plane. They all are present in the same plane. So this is the second law of reflection that is incident ray, incident ray, normal and reflected ray they all lie on the same plane okay x axis mein to sare x axis mein rahenge y axis mein to sare y axis mein rahenge so both incident normal and reflected ray all the three they will always lie on the same plane so these are the two laws of reflections and this was the basic introduction of the chapter that you have already learned in lower classes.